Hello everybody, I am here at the Maverick Exposure Light Dark Surrey Run. This is a series of three races of short, medium, short, middle even, and long distance. I'm doing the long distance event today, it's a trail ultra. It consists of 21.6 kilometers or 13.4 miles, so it's a half marathon distance, taking in about 312 meters. Um, totally haven't just remembered all of this. Yeah, it's going to be a fun evening, it's going to be in the dark, so the head torches are coming out soon. I'm going to get some gloves on because it's quite chilly already, and we're going to have some fun. I'll try and get some shots, but as you know, it's going to be dark, so we'll see if I can get some decent footage. Let's go and run this race. up the first uh, hill, a bit of single file in there, so uh, going pretty slow for this first bit, but there's actually a lot of people doing this. Um, you saw the sea head torches, it's good to be seeing so many runners um, at this brilliant event. Right, we're about three miles in now, just past the first aid station, and uh, yeah, it's pretty tricky. The terrain is nice and muddy, nice and slippery. Lungs to the left, that's us. Um, the course splits, so we've got to make sure that we're on the right course. We don't join the 10k or the 5k. But yeah, um, I'm enjoying it so far. Feeling pretty good, set us still, and we'll just keep on keeping on. Right, we are 6.7 miles in now, and we're about one hour and 10 minutes into this race. Unfortunately, my camera and my GoPro is malfunctioned and it's not working now, so I'm not gonna have much footage for the rest of the race, but I will, uh, you know, film the end and I'll do a little bit of debrief at the end as well. Um, yeah, it's been a pretty technical run. Falling over a few times in the mud, feet are absolutely soaking wet, but it's not raining, so, you know, can't complain too much. Hello everyone, it is the day following the Maverick Exposure Lights Dark Surrey. That was a fantastic and fun event. My brother and I finished in 82nd and 83rd out of 196 finishers and we clocked up 2 hours and 26 minutes. And due to the fact that it was a really tricky bit of technical terrain throughout the entire course and we clocked up about 1,500 feet in elevation gain during only 13.4-ish miles, 
It's fair to say we're both fairly sore this morning, but we had a really fun time. It's a shame that my GoPro just completely stopped working and the battery went from 60% to 0% in about two seconds and it wouldn't turn back on again. And I had no spare batteries, so I couldn't unfortunately film anymore. But I'm quite happy to have gotten quite a decent chunk of the race filmed. So we can hopefully give you an idea about, you know, what it's like to experience one of these brilliant races. In terms of the event and the organisation itself, you couldn't really fault it. Maverick Race put on a fantastic evening. The course was brilliantly signposted. You probably saw some of the orange markings during the video. They say that they have signage at least once every 0.5 kilometres. And to be honest, I think it was much more frequent than this during the race. You'd have to be really trying hard to go off course during this nighttime race. Personally, this was the first nighttime trail race that I've actually done. I have raced um, on the trail at night during long ultra events, um, some of which were on my channel, but I haven't done an exclusively trail event at night in a race setting. So this was a really fun first time experience for me. Maverick Race put on loads of different trail running events, including, you know, other nighttime trail running events across the country in England. So if you fancy it and you want something a little bit different, I would highly recommend that you enter because it is a good blast. I was happy that my brother and I were able to maintain a pretty solid pace. We ran all the runnable sections and we only really walked up really steep uphill bits and parts where the terrain was extra tricky. But other than that, we ran the whole way, which was good. For future trail running, I'm gonna make investing in a much brighter and more reliable head torch a priority. I don't know how bright, how many lumens the head torch was that I was using, but it's fair to say that it wasn't bright enough for this trail. And a lot of the time I was just doing guesswork and it wasn't a very pleasant experience to say the least. So I think it is worth investing in a proper head torch if you're gonna be doing some nighttime trail running. But yeah, I had a really fantastic time. It's good to do something new, something different, and I will most certainly be signing up to a future Maverick trail race in the future. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Craig. Try new things, try being more. I'll see you in the next video.